Uh, my name is Brandon Sloan and run the High Performance uh, Mountain and Road Group at Specialized. You know, the, the old demo was famous for its, uh, its turning, right? And we wanted to, wanted to expand on that and correct for a few things that the, that the racers wanted. So in general, for that, you know, to keep it turning, you know, it turns so well and changes direction so well, we wanted to lower the center of gravity more so you can see the suspension layout's been revised. Jason Chamberlain put, the, put all the pivot points down, down lower. In that same process, we changed the FSR around a little bit. Gwen and the, the racers asked for a little more uh, bottom out control, obviously at the end of the end of the stroke there, help control the big big hits uh, after they you know after big big landings and stuff. So lower CG, a little more bottom out control in the in the FSR system. Tune in to always little small tweaks in tuning and tweaking and how the FSR interacts with braking and pedaling and everything. We always tweak and tune on that uh, as well. So, but mainly uh, ride quality feel. So also you know going to carbon on the change stays and seat stays and the linkage. It's so obviously much less weight to move around back there. So it's more sensitive, more supple than, it, than the old bike was. When we were tweaking on the bike too, we wanted to change things like geo changes a bit. So the sizing size is a little bit different. We call it S3 sizing. So you kind of basically do the sizing based off of you know, kind of rider preference, if you will. Longer wheelbase for a more stable feel, shorter wheelbase for more playful, more clickable feel. So there are four sizes, short, medium, long, and extra long. And again, the idea is the, the two longer sizes have the same head tube heights and the same seat tube heights. The two smaller sizes, again, have the same uh, seat tube heights and head tube heights. You just pick on wheelbase preference. The little details on geometry, uh, a little bit slacker head tube angle at 63.5. BB height stays the same. Chain stays grow a little bit to fit the, the bigger 650 wheels. So overall, the wheelbase is, is, is a bit longer with the head angle changes, the front end changes, and the rear end changes. So shock layout, layout was, it's nice now that, you know, we're partnered with Olean's. We knew what shocks are going to be on the bike off from the beginning. So whether it's the S-Works bike or the base bike, comes with Olean shocks. The Demo One Carbon is the same front triangle as S-Works. Uses a uh, alloy chainstay and an alloy link uh, that the S-Works bike ha does not have, but it does get the alloy. Or excuse me, the carbon seat stays in that case. Both bikes have uh, the Owen CTX uh, shock, whether it's S-Works or the base bike or the frame set. So they're all, they all come with the, the same shock there. So it's a nice, nice little uh, shock upgrade for the, for the base bike. When we reconfigured the uh, FSR pivots, the main pivot naturally wanted to fall in the same real estate as the bottom brackets. So we devised uh, a single axle system. It's very simple. You just tighten down one axle and that houses both your bottom bracket bearings and also is what allows the uh, chain state to pivot around. We designed a custom bearing that's really low profile to reduce weight so we're not using a humongous washing machine bearing in that, in that location and it's very user friendly and uses PF30 bearings. They press right into the spindle rather than using the, the PF30 plastic cups. In this configuration, the seat stay pivots were not in a location that we could connect the right and left seat stays very easily. So we decided to make them both as independent pieces. And instead of using a bridge to connect them around the front of the tire, we used uh, a special square pyramid-shaped axle, which locks on both the left and right sides. One thing that we're not a fan of on the FSR system is that uh, because of the high rotation at the shock link, the DU bushings wear out fairly quickly. So on all of our bikes, we replace that with uh, ball bearings. And on this demo, we're using uh, an outboard ball bearing arrangement that presses into the carbon shock link and that eliminates any wear on the DU bushing and makes your rear suspension much more supple. If you've ever worked on the old demo, you're, you know how complicated it is to get the shock in and out. So we simply removed half of the seat mast uh, so that you can get the shock out much easier. It allows for racers to get their shock retuned between runs quicker and allows much easier access to all the controls and adjustments on the shock, no matter what shock you put in there.